everybody, Garrett here. So today we're going to be retesting these three bows, the RX-1, the Bowtech Realm, and the Matthews Triax. There's a few things that we definitely overlooked, and our goal on this channel is to get good information out to the people that want to see it. So a lot of folks brought some things into our attention through the comment section, So which, which reminds me, if you have comment concerns or questions, leave them in that comment section because videos like this will arise out of your guys' Uh, comments. So one thing that I want to bring to your guys' attention in the last video, which we didn't address, and I completely overlooked, take full responsibility for it, is that we're shooting a number three cam RX-1 at 28 inches. So this cam goes from 28 to 30. So that's not a problem, except you're, you're robbing this cam worth of two inches of performance, rather than shooting the full performance out of a number two cam because you're shooting that one at the height of its draw. So really, we robbed this bow probably by quite a bit feet per second. And I just don't want folks to think that this bow is not as good as it really is because it's an amazing bow. Same thing with the Triax, same thing with the Realm. They're all great bows. And, and I just want to make sure that we're getting good information out there. So that's why we're redoing this. Also, we had some guys that said, that, you know, the, batteries, the battery was half dead in the Chrono. You were standing too close to the Chrono and, and just all sorts of other things. So I replaced the battery. We're standing at about five feet from the Chrono, four feet from the Chrono. And we're going to completely redo this. I also have the um, bows draw tested and I have that on video as well. So really we're just trying to be as transparent and as honest as possible. So uh, let's go ahead and start testing these things. Um, we'll probably start off with the RX-1. I am the only one filming today so I'm probably going to have the uh, picture in picture of the chronograph in the bottom corner rather than me cutting over because that'll just shorten the video up and make it way more efficient. So just know that's why I'm doing that. I'm not trying to fake anybody out. Um, there's a lot of conspiracy theories with, with fan fans of the bows and, and certain brands and so keep it civil in the comment section when you're commenting as well but let's go ahead and start this we have again the 415 440 and 520 grain arrows I've got the chrono set up right here we're gonna go ahead and see how these things shoot so we're gonna go ahead and press the realm real quick right at 70 this is the triax here little over but pretty much right at 70 so and we'll get the Hoyt this is the Hoyt there right at 70 about where the Matthews was so they're all within half a pound I think we can all agree on that all right guys so I have the Hoyt RX-1 415 grain arrow first and we'll go to the 440 and the 520 I'm a 28 inch draw shoot to 29 so if I look a little strong out you know why. So that's 292. and 267. So that is the Hoyt RX-1. Let's grab the uh, Triax real quick and then we'll shoot that one. All right, so I have the Matthews Triax here and we're gonna go ahead and shoot the same arrows, 415, 445, 20. Two ninety two seventy one. Now it's time for the realm. All right, guys, so I have the Bowtech realm that we had exactly yesterday, except we switched the whisker biscuit off there. So they're all the bows are using the exact same uh, drop, drop away rest, and this is on performance mode. 293 286 
and 266. Okay guys, so that completes the testing for today of the RX-1, the Botech Realm, and the uh, Matthews Triax. So the Triax came out on top by about five to six feet per second, a much more narrow margin than in the previous video after the more fair comparison that we did today. So I appreciate all the questions, concerns, and the comments that we get. Leave those concerns in the bottom of the comments section because they help form new videos, they help make us better, and then that helps you guys get more out of the videos as well. So again, subscribe if you wanna see more, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.